Welcome to today's Wednesday webinar. I am Tina Souser. I'm a tech integrationist here at ESU8. And today we're going to take a look at the new Google Sites and how easy it is to create a Sites page and to have um, web pages that you can collaborate on. So the best way that I find to get to these apps in Google or apps for education in Google um, is to actually type in the name of the app that you want to go to and then type in google.com behind it. So this to get to this I always just type in sites.google.com and hit return. If you want to go to drive just go drive.google.com um, any of those. You could also get to it from the grid here but if you've never used sites you have to dig a little bit deeper into that. Now your landing page for your Google Sites page originally is the the old sites page um, where maybe you started to build another site and found it a little bit cumbersome. Well, for those of you who have tried that, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised by this new Google Sites um, and how they built it and made it more um, accessible and easy to use. So to get to the new one, when you log in and go to Sites, just click on New Google Sites down here on the left-hand side. And then you'll come to the landing page of the new Google Sites page. So I have created several new um, pages within Google Sites, and so you see some of them here. Some of these are ones that were shared with me um, and on Google Sites, and so I have access to the to edit and, and use those as well. Um, when you, On your landing page, as you notice, you can come up here and you can uh, uh, modify those as well, like the untitled site pages. I probably don't want clouding up my, my box here. But... When you go to add or create your own Google Sites, it's very familiar. These tools in Google Sites should be very familiar if you use Google tools at all. So if you look over here on the bottom right hand side, you'll see a little plus sign. And when you click on that, you're going to add a new Google Sites page. The landing page it comes to, um, keep in mind when you start to create a web page, you want to have kind of an outline in mind before you start to build. Um, but this page is really your landing page or what is generally known as your home page. So I'm just going to click in there and type in a title. And I always, whenever I do a title, I always connect a date to that as well. Um, but as I type that in, notice that there is um, the site name doesn't originally start filling itself in there. Um, so you will want to have this named as well. Um, so make sure you go up there and change that as well. Now, when you do that and you start typing in other things in here, um, it will um, not change the name of your site. And the name of your site is really just meant to for you to find it when you are on that dashboard page. So now, um, what I have is I have the opportunity. I'm not stuck with this. Um, I can go in and I can modify and change this site to be what I want. Notice when I click on header type, I can change it to be a complete cover. I can change it to be a bit larger banner. The banner is originally what it's set to, or I could just simply have the title only. And, and this will be important when you start building additional pages in here um, so that you can modify what that looks like. You also have the opportunity then to change the background image. You can upload one if you already have one you want to use or you have a school mascot or, or something like that that you'd prefer to use. You can upload it here. Keep in mind it has to be the right um, size dimensions for a, a web page and it will tell you if it's not because it won't upload it. I can also go here and I can say I want to select an image. Google has a lot of images that they already have um, that can kind of fit your needs or be what you want. So you can select one of those. You could add one by URL if you have one loaded somewhere else that you want to use. You can search and what I like about the search is when you go out to search this, it's going to search Google. You have the option to change to life, but it also says results are shown labeled for commercial reuse with modifications. So the usage rights are already set in here for you to use. And so you don't have to have concerns about that because these are going to be live web pages. So I'm just going to type in a word and I'm going to type search here. So it goes out and searches all these Google images. You can set the types that you want it to find. Um, but you can also have these, these images that you can select from and know that there are images that have already been okay for you to use. You could find some in albums that in your Google Photos album 
or you could also go out and find one in your Google Drive. So I'm gonna select an image, and then what it does is it adjusts your, it's, it should adjust so that your title and your image behind um, are more um, practical and, and easy to see. But I, I noticed that it is not changing my, uh, the color of my words. So I might want to go back and, and change this image so that it better fits um, what, I, what I'm looking for for a web page. So you've got to keep those components in mind as well. So if I just select one maybe like that, it's going to again adjust for the readability. Um, and see how it adjusts the image behind so that it's more of a shadow rather than the forefront and then also change the prep wording to be white. Okay, so now when you want to start adding stuff to your web page, it make Google, the new Google Sites has made it so easy. If you come over here on the right hand side, you'll notice that you can, this top things are ways to add just basic um, tools and resources in here. So if I want to add a text box, I can come in here and just type in any text that I want um, and have have the text or be able to modify the text so I can make it bigger or smaller. I can adjust where it's located. I can actually put in a link. Um, like if you want to add in a link to the other pages in your web page, you can do it just like that. It's very simple. But I can also then come and I can modify what that looks like. I can go in and I can change the color. I can come in and I can upload another image. I can select an image from Google. I kind of tend to sometimes like to use these if I'm doing a header page or something like that underneath. Um, and again, it um, knows how to kind of modify that to fit the web page design. You can also come in and add an image if you have an image that you want to select, whether it's from your Google Drive or again to do some more searching. Um, you can add them in that way. You can embed, you can add an embed code or you can put in a URL. Um, completely up to you how you want to add those in. This I love because I do a lot of work and I file everything in my Google Drive. So if you click on this Google Drive, you're going to be able to pull in anything you want from your Google Drive, but you can also come in here and you can search. You can search by file type, you can search by date modified. Um, I think I might have a practice document in here that I can bring in to show you. The reason I like using um, the, the Google Drive documents in here is because once you put in a, a Drive document, all you do is you click on it and you insert it. And then when you insert it, um, you can then, anything that you modify in this document is live and so it posts the changes automatically in your web page so you don't have to go back and modify what's in your web page because you modified what's in that document. It is live in here and you can change the way that the document looks or shows up on the page. Um, you can drag it in, you can drag it out, you can change the background again just like we did uh, before, above. So, uh, and that's so much better than having to have somebody come in here and download this and then then look at it because after they opened it up on their page. So that's a great resource, especially if you use a lot of things in Google Drive. You can change what the layout is. Like you can, if you want to add the two images and the text, then you can simply do that by clicking on these different options over here. Um, it's very easy to come in here and delete some of these um, so that you can change it and modify it quickly. You can add in a table of contents. You can add in a button. Um, I like using these buttons because you can create multiple pages in your web page, but you could put these buttons at the top so that it's very easy for people to navigate through them. So I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to create a button for this page right here. And so I named the button page two. Um, I'll just change this. I'll just say Matt Miller um, and I say insert and then what it does is it creates this button and if you have multiple pages in your web page you could put your pages again up here. You will have access to them um, but this is just another route to get to them and so you just create a button that is a link. You can insert a divider in between 
um, your, pay, uh, your important details on your pages, however you want to do that. You can go out to YouTube and search for videos and pull them right in. And um, I'm going to see if I have, see here, we'll just pull this one in from one of our Wednesday webinars. So I can pull a video right in and it shows up without having to just click to go to the link. Um, you can put in a calendar. Um, let's say, for instance, I want to have my calendar on my webpage. I can insert my calendar. And again, I can kind of modify what this looks like. I can pull it up here. Um, I can show different um, layouts of that calendar just by clicking. And um, then when I publish, it's, it's a live calendar. So anything that I add to my calendar will go on my webpage. You can also add a map location. Um, so if I search ESU 8, there we are. And I can say, okay, let's put that in so that I can see, okay, here's where, here's where I work. You can access that here. Um, very cool and very easy to do. Then I also have the option to go into specific searches where I could bring in a Google Doc that I created, Google Slides, and all that does is take you out to all the most recent slides that you've created, and you can pull those in here as well simply by clicking on them and then say insert, and again, you click and drag and move. Very, very easy to do. Um, of course, I've added in a lot of things, so you would definitely not have so much on a web page, but that's just all the features and resources and how easy it is to get them in there. Now, if you want to go and add pages, as I said, when you create the page, it automatically creates this as your home page. So when you click on pages up here at the top, you can click add and you can say, okay, I just want it to go out to a link or I want to create my new page. And I'm just going to say page two, just so you get, get the idea. Notice when I pull that up, it gives me these advanced features. So I can actually custom the path, customize the path there if I choose, or I can just say done. And then I, it takes me straight to this page too. I can then go in and modify this page however I want. I can go back in and insert whatever I want on that page. Um, it's very easy to do. I'm going to show you what it looks like when um, I add pages and how easy it is then to um, drag and move these pages around. So I could click this and I can put it up here. I can click and drag simply in this bar over here. I could say, okay, I want actually page two to be my home page rather than, than the original page that I created. So you can move them around by these three dots over here. You can actually duplicate the page so that then you can build from the same structure that you have the other pages on for the next page. Um, you can add a sub page underneath here that would be underneath this page. And you can hide it from navigation. If you've created a page, you don't want to delete it, but you maybe want to use it later and not have everybody else see it, you can hide it here and then show it back over here. Um, as you notice, as I start creating pages, I have links up here to those pages. Um, that's again where I told you that your pages will start showing up up here, but also where I said you could also make links to those pages with a button over here as well. Um, when you go into the properties of the page, you can change the name or modify it no, however or whenever you create that, you can always go back and, and change them that way. Um, themes will allow you to kind of build from, like when you first create your page, it, this is the default and you could go in and you could change the colors here, but of course I added the picture, um, but you could also change it so that it has these different um, looks as well, however you want it to look. And then when you do that, it also allows you to kind of change and modify that a little bit. Um, you can change the font style to, it doesn't have a lot of options, um, but it does have some. Um, so you can change the way that it looks there too. Now, one other thing is you can take a look before you publish this or before you send it out to the public, um, public, when you click on this little icon at the top, you're going to be able to preview what your web page looks like, not only on a phone, so you can see what that page looks like on a phone, you can see what it might look like on a tablet or a device so that, you know, this might not be the best, so I might want to spread that out and make that look better. Um, you can see what it's going to look like on a computer for, for anybody else. So you can preview that before you actually send it out to the public.
The other thing you can do up here is you can share this with others or you um, simply to allow them to also um, edit your pages. So you could collaborate with somebody on this web page. So you just enter their name and you say just true to Google form. They can edit or they can view it as published. You can send them a message. Um, all those features, the sharing features are there when you go to share a web page. Now, notice that this link, because you can share it with somebody as a link if you want them to go to your page, this link right now is not highlighted. And the reason it is not highlighted is because none of this has been published. You're just building. And so they're saying, okay, you're just building this. We don't want to send it out yet. When you're ready to send it out, you have to publish the page before you'll actually have a link to share with others. So keep that in mind. As you're building, it's not going to show up for anybody, but when you want it to show up and you're ready for it, you've reviewed it, you can click publish here and then others are, are able to view the page. Um, so I'm going to take you to a site, my professional, I created a professional portfolio in the new Google Sites page. So I kind of want to show you a little bit about what this can look like. Um, it, you, there's lots of things. This is my home page, but up here, these are what sub pages might look like. Um, so I have all of these sub pages in in here, and then when you run out of room, like you have additional pages, it puts everything kind of over here at the right hand side. So this might be a great option for me to go in and, and add some buttons on my um, my front page. Um, but uh, the Google new Google Sites allows for a very uh, well organized and easy on the eyes pages to create and things that students could potentially do as well. Um, so go out there and check it out. Thank you for spending your time with me today and if you have any questions on Google Sites or the new Google Sites page, please feel free to contact me. My email address is tina.souser at esuane.org and I'd love to help you build your sites page.